Massive changes in social security, including the increase in benefits for millions of Americans. How a second Trump term could affect social security benefits. Remember that things are changing very quickly for millions of social security SSI and SSDI recipients. But at the same time, Andrew Clyde grills the social security administration commissioner. And this video is creating shock waves across the US. Um, actually, there is a requirement, sir. And um, it's 20 CFR 404.1. 642 for state and that is 49.5 days for dds in state and and that's that's in the regs all right i'm surprised you don't know that sir um <clears throat> so your FY25 goal. What do those regs state too? I wasn't aware. I've never ever heard that number. All right. Well, I'm going to show you this entire video clip, and this is very important and shocking at the same time. And remember that Trump finally said that he's going to make some major changes in social security. And we have some expert opinion as well. So make sure you stay with us till the end of this video if you receive social security, SSI, SSDI, veteran affairs, or railroad retirement benefits. So before I start the video, I would like to ask you just for a little favor to please smash the like button on this video as it helps this video and the channel as well so without any further ado let's start the video So let's start the video with the elephant in the room and we are talking about the social security under Donald J. Trump. Yes, you heard it right. That's how a second Trump term could affect social security benefits and the details are indeed shocking. Well, though president-elect Donald J. Trump has often promised to protect social security, he has not explained exactly how he would save the beloved but financially troubled entitlement program, nor did he take any meaningful steps to shore up social security during his first term in the White House. Moreover, several of his recent campaign pledges, including the elimination taxes on social security benefits, could wind up costing seniors in coming years. And that is the biggest issue right now. Remember that a number of analysts and experts are saying that if Trump is going to eliminate taxes on social security, it will deplete the social security funds instead of 2023, it will deplete it in 2031, which is indeed a very important point. But remember, lawmakers will not neglect and why I'm saying this, you need to understand that we can give billions of dollars to other nations so they can live a prosperous life for our own seniors, especially the social security benefits are in jeopardy. Well, they have to come forward and do something about it as they always do. Well, social security benefit hasn't been changed in the past 73 years and around 5 million social security recipients are living in poverty right now. If you are struggling right now, then let me know in the comments below. What do you think about this whole situation? And right here, I would like to ask you this very important question that nobody is asking. What do you think would be the first decision of President-elect Donald J. Trump about Social Security? Is he going to increase the benefits or cut the Social Security benefits? Again, is he going to increase Social Security benefits or cut Social Security benefits? Let me know in the comments below. And if you receive SSI and SSDI, I know you're struggling right now, but we have some massive details for you as well. With the election over, Republicans are suddenly interested in cutting Social Security. Like clockwork, the party is back to talking about its favorite target. And this is the problem right here. A lot of people are debating that Republicans are going to cut Social Security. And that's where the confusion starts. Why I'm saying this? Remember that Vivek Ramaswamy and Elon Musk both said that he they're not going to cut Social Security, including Donald J. Trump. He said that he's not going to cut Social Security. But on the other hand, he's ready to eliminate taxes on Social Security. And one more thing that Bernie Sanders who has a proposal of $2,400 increase in social security every single year is ready to shake hands with President-elect Donald J. Trump, which is going to be a very massive step for the well-being of millions of these recipients. If they both titans come together, what happens? Well, Donald J. Trump is talking about elimination of taxes on social security, while Bernie Sanders is talking about increasing the benefits by $2,400 a year. That translates to $200 every single month. If these two come together, it means wonders for social security. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about it and do you really think is it possible for Bernie Sanders to shake hand with Donald J. Trump as he stated already that he's ready to work with President-elect Donald J. Trump on social security and for the well-being of millions of Americans. So now let's watch this entire video from Andrew Clyde where he says some very important and shocking things that's creating shockwaves across the US. Let's watch it then I'll come back and give you some more details about 
about what social security is going to be under Donald J. Trump and at the same time, I'll break down the details of this video for you. Um, actually, there is a requirement, sir, and um, it's 20 CFR 404.1. 642 for state and that is 49.5 days for dds in state and and that's that's in the regs all right i'm surprised you don't know that sir um so your fy25 goal what do those regs state too i wasn't i've never ever heard that number all right all right i'm, I'm a thank you i learned something new every day in this job and i have 10 more days to learn <laughs> well i wish you well on where you're going sir thank you um now your fy2425 priority goals all right say by september and this is again <laughs> Your, your yes, sir. from your oh, agency. I live, this, I live and breathe it every day. Okay, by September 30th, 2025, achieve an average processing time for initial disability claims of 215 days. 215 days is a lot compared to the statutory requirement of 49.5 plus, you know, that, now granted that doesn't include the 21.5, that doesn't include the, the social security field offices or the other parts of the application process, but right. that pales in comparison to what the state requires or, or, or what the state processing times are. So my point, my question to you is, what is your plan to reduce these wait times in each area? Yes, sir. We have a whole plan on it. In fact, we have a tiger team. There's 15 main uh, actions that mm -hmm. the tiger team has proposed. And, and um, you know, one of, one of those action items is something they asked me to ask of all of you, which is to allow us to put the medical authorization form right in the front of the application because it causes a lot of friction, a lot of wasted time. Uh, but there's others as well, and I'm glad to and I'm glad to share those with you. Uh, this is one of the top three priorities that the president asked me to throw myself at. One of them was 1-800 number. We wrestled that one mm -hmm. to the ground. Uh, still struggle with it when times of peak times like COLA. So we got that from an hour wait time down to 12 and a half minutes. The overpayment thing, we did that by April. Nobody has 100% of their overpayments anymore. But the disability we want is tough. Uh, it is, a, it is a huge challenge and process improvement, and we're trying to do it with more applicants than we've ever had, but staffing reduced to a 50-year low. As you rightly pointed out, there are a few, pro there are a few steps in the process. Uh, one of them is to get the person with the disability into the field office right away. That means that there have to be people manning the field yes, office, and which is which goes back. Well, hold on, which goes back to Chairman's question about you know the fact that people are not in the field offices. If if three days out of the week is the requirement, then why is it not five days out of the week? Well, this is the biggest issue right now. And the first thing that he mentioned right here, which is indeed quite shocking, that people on SSI and SSDI, they're the ones who are affected the most right now. They are living in poverty and what Social Security Administration is doing is nothing. Sometimes people have to wait days, not weeks, but months to get their benefits. And of course, overpayment is another issue that Donald J. Trump has to face. And now he nominated the new chairman of Social Security Administration. He's the fintech guy. A guy who knows how he can tackle these situations when it comes to the IT problems, overpayment problems, and other problems that are related to the management level. So let's see what he's gonna do. But again, this is going to be a very interesting show, and we'll keep you updated on that. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I will see you in the next video very soon. Till then, please take care and have a nice day.